All paper has a grain to it, which is basically the direction in which the long fibres of the paper align, the way they're, they're orientated on, on the sheet or on the roll. And it's advantageous to have the grain running in this direction when you're rolling your shell case. When the long fibres of the paper are running from top to bottom of your shell case like that, the case is far stronger in this direction from, from top to bottom. And when the lift charge goes off underneath, there's much less chance of this shell compressing and rupturing. Whereas if you cut your paper and roll it so that the long fibres are orientated in a band around the shell like this, it makes for a much weaker shell casing. So you need to identify the paper, the grain direction of your paper before you start to cut it and roll your casing. Now generally on a roll of paper, the grain runs from end to end on, on the roll. And on a sheet of paper, generally it runs the long direction of the sheet. But if you're not sure, the very simple way to find out, foolproof method to see which way the grain is running. Just take a piece of paper, this is just 30 pound paper, and just lightly spray with water on one side of it. Now you can see it's immediately curled up like that. And the paper always curls parallel to the direction of the grain. So on this piece of paper here, we know that the grain is running in this direction. So we want to cut our paper for the shell. It needs to be cut grain short if we want a seven inch long shell. We cut it seven inches this way and the other way is, is the long direction. Okay, let me cut some paper up. We have a lot of different qualities of paper on the market today and when it comes to rolling a shell casing basically you should try and use the best paper you can get your hands on. Virgin craft paper is definitely the paper of choice to make a, a good quality shell case and in sizes from 3 inch upwards this is probably as good as anything. This is Virgin Craft, it's 70 pound paper which means it's seven thousandths of an inch thick. This is far thinner, this is 30 pound paper which is a little bit thin for making a shell case. I guess you could get away with it on a three inch shell. You'd have to put a few more layers on it than normal though. But this, this kind of paper is good for nosings, that sort of thing. So basically what you want is 60, 70 pound virgin craft paper. This makes the strongest casing possible. Now, on occasions, because I have difficulty in getting good virgin craft paper over here, I used other kind of paper like this. This is actually 90 pound paper, nine thousandths of an inch thick. It's kind of tan colour on one side and a lighter colour on the other. I suspect it's the paper they use for making cardboard boxes, the outer cover on a cardboard box. It's recycled, it falls apart if you get paste on it, but if you're using it for something like this, this is a four inch uh, shell casing and I'm going to be putting spiderweb stars in here and I'm using it with a liner. So this paper I, I think is, is acceptable for something like this, though on a multi-break I wouldn't dream of using this kind of paper. I would want to be using something like this, 70 pound or, or thicker paper for a good quality multi-break shell. Okay, I'm going to cut some paper up. I need to cut paper for some five inch shells. And I've got a roll here, 70 pound virgin craft paper. And I need to determine the, the, the grain incidentally on this paper is running down the length of the paper as it's on a roll, you, you know it's running that way. So I need to cut my paper so that the grain on my shell case is running 
down this way as we said before. So I need to cut a strip off sideways. And unfortunately the paper is only 36 inches wide. That's a 36 inch wide strip. Now if I take my 5 inch case former and I start to roll it up, I see I've got one, two, I've got two and a half turns around there. So I'm going to need two strips cut this way, grain short. Now my 5 inch shell, on a, a colour break on a 5 inch shell, I like to make my, my shells 5 inches high. Oh sorry, is that what I said? No, 4 inches high. So what I want to do is I need 4 inches for the, for the height of the shell. I need another inch and a half to pleat my paper over the top of the first disc I put in here. Then I need another inch and a half to pleat over the bottom. So I need uh, seven inches. So I'm going to cut this paper seven inches wide. And all I do is just mark it on the paper here. Seven, 14, 21. 28, 7, 14, 21, 28. Okay. This gives me my, my width, it's 7 inches. And I just bring the paper up to the mark and just hold it across with your hands like that. I use a sharp cutting knife. Just use the back of it to put a nice sharp crease in it. And then just slice through it. You haven't got to be accurate to the nearest millimetre on here. It isn't that critical. pieces, one would be interleafed with the other and I'll roll the casing up and I've got enough two, two sheets here will roll me a five inch shell casing. And I cut all the paper like that basically, the, the very thick stuff that's used for the cardboard boxes there. Uh, it doesn't cut very well with a knife so if I'm cutting big pieces of that sometimes I mark it out with, with a, a ruler and I cut it with a big pair of scissors but this paper's much easier to cut with a knife than anything else. Okay, something else I need to make is I've got a six inch shell and this isn't just a colour break shell, it's going to have these eight small reports put inside it. So I need to work out how much paper do I need to cut to make this? Normally a six inch shell, I would make my six inch shell uh, four and three quarter, five inch long. But because I want to put these, this, this ring of reports in here and some colour stars on top, I need to make it a little bit bigger than I normally would. Now this would, the canal would be in there. I just make these small uh, shell cases like this just to put my reports and comments and things in just to, to see easily if they're going to fit or not. Okay, I would have my 
got my little reports in there, they're two inches high and the fuse is about three-eighths of an inch above the top of the, the paste job here and then this would be filled with pulverone over here so I'm going to have two inches plus my layer of pulverone would be two and a half and I want at least three and a half inches of colour stars over the top so if we say two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, five and a half and a little bit of pulverone on the top before I close the shell up just under the, under the top disc let's say six inches so I've got six inches of height on the shell six inches of height and my pleating on the top will take up another one and a half and the same on the bottom I need, um, I need a ten inch strip of paper to make this this uh, insert shell. So the same thing. Just mark out Terms of uh, paper I'm going to need for this five uh, six inch as well. And a six inch shell, you need six turns of 70 pound paper. So if I put this up, one, two. I've got two, two turns out of one strip, so I need three strips to, to make this particular shell. Okay, so I put some marks up on the paper, 10 inch intervals. to go around the shell after it's been spiked so ordinarily I would cut the strips of paper from my paste wrap at the same time for, for each individual shell. The paste wrap would want to be just a little bit longer than this because I would want to lap it up against the fuse at one end and make sure that it comes right up to the centre of the base of the shell. So whereas I'm cutting these three strips for the shell case at 10 inches I would probably cut my paste wrap strips at uh, something more like 12 ok there we go, three sheets for my Finally, I like to just write on each sheet of paper what it's for. You've got strips of paper that you've cut for making the shell case, strips that you've cut for the pasting. You've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight inch cases. It's very easy to get all your paper mixed up and forget which piece you've cut for what. So I just like to write on seven inch pasting, seven inch shell case, whatever, on all the, on all the sheets of paper. 